A second person arrested in the murder of a 19 year old man whose body was left in the trunk of a car for more than a year. John Eisenman confessed last year to killing his daughter's boyfriend. Now his longtime girlfriend, Brenda Cross, also behind bars. Crime 2's Kyle Simchuk is looking into the newly released court documents. And Kyle, I understand it was actually this woman's co-worker who turned her in. Well, yeah, Cody, that co-worker told deputies that Cross confessed to helping kill the 19-year-old. And court documents show she also shared some disturbing details, saying she and her fiancé were si singing and laughing as they were killing this young man who was begging for his life. Pure evil. That's how the family of Andrew Sorensen describes the couple accused of violently killing him in the trunk of a car. Brenda Cross appeared before a judge today, now charged in the murder her longtime boyfriend confessed to nearly a year ago. According to court documents, Cross was arrested after sheriff's deputies got a call from an HR employee at Amazon who said Cross admitted to helping her boyfriend, John Eisenman, kill their daughter's boyfriend. According to court documents, Cross said she punched Sorensen several times in the head while the teen was in the trunk of her car with his hands and ankles zip-tied. Cross said she and Eisenman played a song and hummed along, laughing as they killed Sorensen, who cried and begged for his life. He was struck with a cinder block and stabbed several times. According to court docs, Cross's boyfriend told police he killed the 19-year-old, claiming the teen sold his daughter into a sex trafficking ring. Police say there's no evidence to support those sex trafficking claims. Eisenman said he was high on meth during the murder, according to court documents. We spoke to Sorensen's mother, who adopted him when he was six months old. He was born with cerebral palsy and diagnosed with autism and had developmental disabilities. She said her son had a hard time fitting in at high school and started hanging around the wrong crowd when he met the couple's daughter. Sorensen's family has struggled with his death and the fact that some called Eisenman a hero following his arrest, even donating money for legal expenses. And today a judge set Cross's bond at $1 million. In the newsroom, Kyle Simchuk, Krem 2 News.